I mean, I guess speedrunners play games way too much. Probably. Not that you can play too much Karen, of course. Uh, oh, you can. When you're developing it, you, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had enough of this game before it even came out. I, I had enough of this game before we even announced it. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Hello, Robbie. <laughs> uh, Chris, why don't you uh, tell everyone who's watching who you are and uh, why we're watching Carrion today? Yeah, so my name is Krzysztof Komicki, or Chris for everyone who doesn't like uh, Polish monsters. Uh, <laughs> and I'm the game and level designer at Phobia Game Studio, the studio behind Carrion. Beautiful. And I'm Robbie. I am uh, Robbie Patterson from Devolver. Uh, I helped market this game. Uh, so we're watching the world record speed run of Carrion. Yeah. Uh, so Ooh. yeah. Fairly... So what was that? What was happening just there where he brought up that? Did he bring up like a debug menu or something? Uh, no, what he actually does is he loads the game very quickly uh, because all the transitions uh, between the levels and and when you set up a hive and then you have the animation with the tentacles sprouting out and uh, starting to open the, the level and so on, uh, they take some time, you know, mere seconds, yeah. but <laughs> when you're doing a, a world record run, you want to shave off as, as many as you want. Uh, as, as you can oh. and yeah uh, the save happens before <laughs> before the the all the animations so by loading the game he simply sk skips uh, parts of the of the loading animations and so on wow such disrespect for the animation in this game <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, basically that's that's what speedrunning is right right it's disrespecting everything you work on uh, for three years and it's like, ah, it's you know, anti-gaming. Yeah, Whoa. you know, like half of the game you made, let's just skip it. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay, that's what enough. speedrunning is. Yeah. Only half of the game is any good anyway. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, you just need the two hours so that uh, people can refund it anymore and then who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so how quickly can you finish the game in? Uh, What's your fastest run? Mine? I, I'm not sure, but uh, without doing the skips, which uh, we'll surely see in a moment, I think around 40 minutes or 50 minutes, wow. something like that. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I did some sort of speed running when we were, you know, about to launch the game and then Oh damn, we have a new bug, let's fix it, and now we have to replay uh, <laughs> the whole game. And uh, it was a whole night of, of doing that on every possible platform and so on. Uh, fun, fun times. Why? Wow. So, are there any are there any sort of known exploits that we're going to see in this game yeah. that you think they're going to take advantage of? Yeah, there are at least two major skips in in every any person's speedrun. Uh, which we'll see fairly soon and yeah i actually see the the list of the levels uh, <laughs> uh that uh, our world record speedrunner uh, is going uh, to, to yeah tackle. okay yeah. <laughs> that's on the right hand side okay i see yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so obviously he's he's going to utilize the skips and oh yeah. i mean he wouldn't be the <laughs> world record holder either uh, otherwise well, you uh, don't know he might just be really really fast yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, he skips pretty much the second half of the game and also one oh, of the wow. levels from the first half. But yeah, for now, uh, there weren't really any major major skips or bugs or anything. He's just utilizing the game's mechanics, which are very kind of, you know, speedrunner friendly in mm. the way the monster moves uh, and the fact that you can actually skip most of the uh, of the combat encounters, just you know, not kill yeah. people. So basically, yeah. not 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 do 
the things that are fun in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed that you can kind of uh, you can dive through rooms fairly quickly, even on just on a standard playthrough, if you want to. If you're feeling, uh, I don't know, reckless. Yeah, yeah, you can. Although when you're re reckless and you're not 100% certain as to what you're doing, you'll uh, <laughs> either get lost or killed or, or both. <laughs> so uh, I definitely yeah. got lost a lot in this game. So where do you think the first... Uh, we're we're going to see the first kind of a speed running exploit, besides the, the quick saves that he's been doing? Uh, yeah, so, so besides that... Uh, yeah, after after the mines level, which he's just uh, entered, yeah. uh, man, he's going fast. Yeah, uh, he'll gain access to the second part of of the overworld because the overworld is basically uh, uh, divided in, in those three three areas. Uh, yeah, yeah, and they are kind of. I mean, it's all interconnected, but they are kind of, uh, we call them districts while, dis districts while developing ga the game. So to make the, the travels and the uh, uh, exploration of the game uh, easier and, and less confusing, uh, yeah, the levels you tackle in any, any given moment are always set in the, one of the three, three districts. Yeah. So, yeah. Once he does the the mines and uh, yeah, he now has the the Zephoria skill or or dash as mm -hmm. most people call it. He yeah. can destroy the wooden obstacles, yeah, and, and gain access to the second part of the overworld. And that's where the first skip is going to happen. Right, man, he's going yeah. so fast. Yeah, that's he's. Wild. Yeah, he's re-entering the junkyard, and, and that's where you open the uh, the sub level of the junkyard. Yeah, the, yeah, he's just entered it, and it, yeah, it was a toxic waste, uh, whatever. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah. he's dropped that. It, it was in French. It. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually, it's it's. Uh, yeah, we knew that uh, Karyon is going to be a pretty fun challenge for for speedrunners because not only can you utilize the uh, extreme agility of, of the monster, its, its speed and, and so on, but you also kind of have to uh, optimize your resources. Mm. Uh, you have to like uh, plan very carefully how many people you're going to eat uh, whether you're going to deposit the biomass or or allow some people to shoot you because that might be quicker. So there's lots of uh, planning. Uh, yeah, involved. yeah, there's yeah. I hadn't even considered that kind of like that tactical aspect of having to get bigger and or go bigger and smaller in the context of doing a speed run. Yeah. So this is where I'm expecting to see the skip. Okay strap in yeah yeah so basically <laughs> it's something that shouldn't be possible to to do <laughs> <laughs> what did you do and, chris how uh, did you do this yeah funny enough we actually fixed it ahead of of uh, the uh, launch of the game on on steam uh, but given the the windows store version is more akin to to consoles, which means it, it goes through certification. Uh, we didn't manage to patch it ahead of the release. So <laughs> so that game has uh, this skip. I mean, basically, the skip is still possible, but it's more more complex. OK. And yeah, on, on the initial uh, Game Pass PC uh, release, you could just shoot the weapon and move very quickly to through the lasers. Uh, oh right, yeah. yeah, yeah, because the web should simply break. Yeah, yeah. Uh, much uh, earlier when it's when it's attached to to a switch rather than you know uh, an enemy. Yeah, and I wonder so, how many Oh, sorry. Hmm? I wonder yeah, how many times ahead. he had to play through this just to know exactly where to go and when. 
I mean, I guess speedrunners play games way too much. Probably. Not that you can play too much Karen, of course. Uh, oh, you can. When you're developing, you, <laughs> you can. <laughs> yeah, I had enough of this game before it even came out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I had enough of this game before we even announced it. So. <laughs> Where is he now? Oh, he's in the water yeah. section. Yeah, yeah, the Leviathan Reef base. Uh, so, yeah, just regular super fast gameplay at the moment yeah, yeah i wonder i wonder how he's going to tackle the the mech that's uh yeah i was just thinking that yeah probably oh, just rush him and and mutilate him in like uh, one second has he got the oh yeah he's got the yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, he actually used the fact that uh, the the floodgates open fairly slowly, so he used the time to to eat the the operator of the mech. Ah, very uh, something sneaky. something he probably wouldn't do if if the door opened instantaneously. Yeah. Yes. So basically, the skip uh, allowed him to completely bypass the uh, botanical gardens uh, level. Right. And uh, also, uh, the game is designed in a way like you know the the whole progression is is linear in that you're expected to go to this level first, then this new skill will allow you to unlock the uh, level after that, and so on. Uh, but while developing the game and testing everything and and so on, we obviously made it so that when you enter. Uh, any particular level, you uh, get assigned all the. Oh, well, I guess he messed something up. <laughs> uh, you get assigned all the skills you're expected to have uh, at this point uh, in the right. game. Right. So yeah, thanks to that, despite him skipping the the uh, level in which. So you, he doesn't have to like manually collect each skill. Yeah, yeah. If he manages to skip some level, he'll get all the skills he just gets it from that level. Oh yeah. man, I didn't so know that's, that. Yeah, so that's <laughs> why why he has uh, the light bending skill. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, he actually did a, a, an interesting thing in in the puzzle. Uh, with the switch in the water, mm. he he kind of yeah he kind of broke it <laughs> to make it faster. So oh, really? yeah, yeah, you're expected to to get smaller and and shoot a cobweb yeah uh, to toggle the switch and oh from yeah, but he just used the water kind of he was just yeah he just he, stayed he, in the yeah he I think he dashed uh, and kind of tunneled through it. So uh, yeah, yeah, okay. It, it's a minor just, skip, but yeah, it saves yeah. a couple of seconds. Does that drive you nuts? Yeah, because I tested <laughs> it, the game against all, all that stuff, and I designed those all those levels and all those puzzles, and I like so you can still do that, really. Your life's work just being torn apart before your very eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Although I still think that, you know, the speedruns being around like 20 minutes or so, it's still a pretty good Yeah, that's uh, good. time, given the, the game isn't super long. It, it wasn't meant to be. It's not it's like fun. a 40 hour it's, game. Yeah, and it's fun to watch as well, because like, you're still getting to watch the monster crawl around at high speed, destroying stuff and eating people. Yeah, that's that's true. It's it's not like watching I don't know a, a Morrowind speedrun where you basically just <laughs> uh, get some spells to to fly around and then everything is done in, in a couple yeah. of minutes and and you really don't know what's going on. Uh, and and yeah, in, in Karyon it's except for a couple of skips and and uh, a couple of of you no know, game breaking bugs. <laughs> uh, yeah, game, it, it game looks like enhancing drug. Game enhancing yeah. bugs. Yeah, those are features. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Man, it looks really... like, yeah, yeah, it just looks like, you know, very uh, high skill gameplay, but it's proper gameplay. Yeah. 
I mean, like I realise he uh, he has obviously skipped through parts of the game, but I mean, to me, just watching it, you know, it just looks like he's just playing through it as normal, but super fast, which I guess he is doing as well. Yeah. <laughs> he's not far away, though. Yeah, because there's going to be a, a major skip soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. So what's the? Let's get ready for this next major skip. Where, where? What can we expect when this happens? Yeah. So actually, the skill that he's gaining now, parasitism, uh, it's one thing. Is it's crucial uh, in ending the game because yeah, at the very uh, last skill jar, you you upgrade the skill again, so we need both both the skip versions of the skill. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but also uh, there's a very quirky feature of the skill. So basically, for it to work reliably, the the mode in which you switch to controlling the uh, the tentacle, the, the yeah. tentacle probe, which goes into uh, people and uh, takes control over them, uh, it stops the monster in tracks, so mm -hmm. that you know it it doesn't uh, break break the the mode accidentally it doesn't drop down yeah. and so on and yeah i mean it it works great in regular gameplay but our wonderful speedrunners uh, found out that it can be also used to to break the game <laughs> obviously <laughs> yeah so so yeah what he needs for for that skip uh, is the dash skill, which he earned in, in the mines, and the parasitism, which he got in the Relief HQ. Yeah. So he's now going back to the very beginning of the game, which is where the game also ends. And normally he'd have to go through all the... Uh, like the rest of the game, the, the final yeah. district of, of the overworld, yeah, all the hardest levels. Yeah, he hasn't been to the overworld at all. Oh yeah, my god, I mean, he's got, is he... Got, oh! Yeah. He got through the pipe backwards. <laughs> yeah, so so this is the skip. It's called uh, Eat Up because uh, that's the default uh, default key binding. If is for the offensive skills and Tab is for for uh, parasitism. Yeah. So yeah, uh, when he dashes through the through the pipe and then presses Tab, he kind of stops in track inside the pipe and then he can, as far as I know. Yeah, he does it again. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dash through the pipe, through, and eventually get out of it. So yeah, yeah, so he's just completely bypassed like all the mazes and everything. Yeah, yeah. and all the backtracking. So, Whoa! Yeah. That's that's the fun of having you know actual physics in in the character's movement. Yeah, and, yeah. And then people abusing those physics. <laughs> wow. That was wild. Yeah. And because of that that skip, he skipped like the three final levels of, of yeah. the game, which are the longest. So well, I was gonna like, say, like, yeah, half of the game. <laughs> like <laughs> seeing how quickly we just went from I was just like, oh, he's just playing through the game really fast, and now he's like literally right here at the end. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah. All through skipping through that pipe as well. That's mad. Yeah, uh, is we've never expected that <laughs> particular thing to occur, but uh. now the secret's out, Chris. Everyone yeah. knows. Yeah, true, true. What's interesting now that uh, the the one hundred percent runs are much much longer because you actually have to do all the levels pretty much. Even if you utilize some of the skips to, for example, you can skip the jungle to to get that skill. Uh, right away but you will have to go back to the level eventually to to get the optional upgrade so yeah and that's below 19 minutes <laughs> wow yeah was, i'm impressed that was impressive there's sebastian's name that's not you yeah that's not me there you are yeah. game design 